welcome back. Today's video is going to be on this makeup look and I finally created, well I recreated this look because I've already created it the first time, oh my gosh, I say I want to say a month ago I created this makeup look and I did not want to show it just yet because I wanted to do a video. I didn't film this look. I created it but I didn't film it. So I finally filmed this makeup look for you guys because when I showed you this palette a lot of you requested a makeup look using this palette and yeah today is the day where I'm finally giving you this makeup look. And it is using the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca. I believe it's the Remix palette or eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure if it's the Remix or if it's just the Mi Vida Loca regular eyeshadow palette. So this palette is gorgeous. There's every single color in this palette that you'll ever need to create a crazy, bold, colorful, rainbow kind of look. And that's what I wanted to create, just something different, something that I haven't done in a long time on my channel. And I've been doing a lot of neutrals and smoky looks, but not a colorful bold, full of color kind of look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. It's definitely not a look that you would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. It's, I mean, I would definitely go out and, you know, run a day of errands using these colors. But, I mean, let's be real. A lot of people don't normally gravitate to these kind of colors for a natural, everyday wear. Sometimes you can use these to just go out and not on the town, something like that but I still wanted to create a bold look. I love playing with different colors and just, you know, having some fun outside of my comfort zone and just, you know, dip into dark, bold, beautiful colors like this. I really hope you guys enjoy the look, and if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more videos, and let's go ahead and get started. Hey loves, so we are going to go ahead and jump right into the eyeshadow. First I'm placing a piece of tape just to carve out a nice sharp line. Then I'm moving into the eyeshadow. A lot of these eyeshadow names are really hard to pronounce, but I will leave them down below or somewhere on the screen. I took the first shade as a transition and moved on to this nice orange matte shade. And this is going to be my all over crease color. and. Don't be alarmed at first because I know it's super intense orange, but it's going to end up peeking through and that's kind of what I wanted. So I took my fluffy blending brush and just buffed this orange all over the crease. Then I'm taking this nice dark teal shade and it's also matte and I took this with a more precise crease brush and put this into my crease, kind of on top of the orange. But I also wanted to intensify it, so I went back in and blended and also kept intensifying this teal color as well. You're going to see me going back and forth in between shades, blending the colors, because it's very important to blend out any harsh lines just so that the colors blend into each other. I went back in and after blending, it seems like the shades keep blending away a little bit, so I went back in with the orange shade just to touch up the orange just so that it's not so faded. And then I went back into the blue and intensified it a little bit more and also blending in between. Next I'm taking this beautiful red matte shade. I'm going to take a flat shader brush by Sigma and apply this all over to my lid. I am going to be retouching up this shade also just because when you blend in between the shades of the shadows they tend to blend away easily but you'll see me constantly retouching it and just packing it on. Next I'm moving on to these two blue shades, one's darker than the other as you can see and with the same precise crease brush I'm going to intensify the crease just to give it a little more definition. I'm just going to deepen up the color and just pack it in there and blend everything nice and neat with a blending brush. And then as you see I'm packing on the red. These next three shades which is beautiful bright yellow, gold, and a light green. I took these three shades and combined them and went ahead and highlighted my inner corners. This is my inner corner and also it's like the inner one third of the lid but also in the inner corner and just blended everything together. I took a blending brush and blended all the colors into each other, but also blending the red into that bright inner corner. 
just so that there aren't any lines that are separating with either shade. This next shade I'm using is a beautiful white shimmer shade. I'm taking my flat shader brush. It's another flat shader brush by Sigma and highlighting the brow bone. Realized it was too much so I just went in with my blending brush just to blend it out and then touched up the orange that I had with my other blending brush. Moving on to liner, we're using the e.l.f. liquid liner and I'm doing my wing liner and then you'll see I'll pull the tape now and you can get that nice sharp line. Moving on to concealer, I am using the Better Skin Concealer in Light Medium by Maybelline and just concealing under the eyes and all of the areas of my face and blending it, it out with this Sedona Lace Brush. And here I'm just making sure that everything is nicely blended. Moving on to setting my concealer, I'm using this NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana and just setting my under eye concealer and also everywhere else where I highlighted with my concealer. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm using my Fit Me Powder in the shade 220 and just taking a large fluffy brush to set all over my face. Then I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply some Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara to prep them for lashes. I am going to be using the same lashes I wore in my last video. They're by Lena Lashes. I believe they're called Doll Face. I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember, but if I do remember for sure, I will write them down in the description box. For my lower lash line, I'm going to take the three blue shades that I used on the lid and in the crease and also the orange shade. I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line with the two blue shades and then blend everything out with the orange shade. Then I'm going to take the same shimmer shade that I used on my brow bone to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm going to be applying the telescopic mascara on my lower lashes. Moving on to my face, I'm going to be using the Too Faced a Little Black Book of Bronzers and taking Milk Chocolate and Chocolate Sole Bronzer. And I'm going to be bronzing up my face, not necessarily contouring because I don't want too harsh of a contour going on because all of the talking is going on on the eyes. So I'm just going to warm up my skin and bronze all the areas of my face. For blush, I'm going into my Tarte Big Blush book and using the shade Exposed. I did not want too much color on my cheeks because like I said, all the color is on the eyes so I just blended Exposed all over my cheeks. And for highlighting, I'm using my Mary Luminizer with a nice little fan brush by Real Techniques and just highlighting the highest points of my face, my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow. Now for lips, I did not know which lip color to use, but I did go with CEO, and this is Lorac's Alter Ego Lipsticks, very matte finish. I didn't know which color to choose, but I knew I wanted a nude, but this is a nude pink, and I thought it paired perfectly with this look because it's very toned down because, like I said, the eyes are doing the talking. this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon.